Hey guys, this is Dave here today to talk to you about the Marmot Alsek jacket. So uh, they call this an approach jacket on Marmot's website. Uh, the jacket I bought uh, originally to go uh, to wear under a Gore-Tex shell. I've had it on a couple of alpine climbs up in the northeast. And uh, I really, really like this jacket. Uh, it's a soft shell jacket. It's got a lot of stretch to it. Um, it is windproof water repellent and uh, um, really comfortable uh, and it has pretty good heat management I really don't feel like I overheat in this so it, it definitely uh, it uh, releases the heat uh, but um, you know keeps the cold off your body uh, the one the one thing I probably feel like is a little bit of a downside is there's no hood right so it's just a collar jacket uh, but really uh, jacket's been super good on a couple of hikes. I've had it um, out in some pretty cold temperatures without actually putting a Gore-Tex layer over it and some pretty harsh winds and it kept the wind off pretty well. Uh, it has a, a Velcro adjustment uh, on the wrists. It does have a, a, um, a sleeve pocket. Um, if you want to put a Garmin trans, uh, transponder in there or your keys or a wallet or something, it's very handy. Uh, but it, it's uh, probably, I would say it's got a little bit more of a slim fit or fitted cut to it uh, but a really uh, very comfortable jacket and i think you can wear this in a pretty good range of temperatures if you were in um you know early spring mid spring mid early or late fall i, I think you'd be okay for winter you might want to you know have a, a vest or just a, a pretty good um, tech layer underneath this would do the trick or uh, a thin layer underneath and maybe uh you know light puffer on top uh, but this this is a really uh, pretty handy jacket. I think it's a nice piece in my in my kit. I really always like the Marmot um, Marmot products. It has waistline um, drawstring adjustments. Uh, the pockets have um, don't have like a, a fleece liner, but they, there's like a small fabric liner in there. Um, but what I really like about it is this, the flexibility. This is a size medium. I'm five foot seven, 165 pounds. Um, the uh, the zippers have a pretty good little draw cord on them. Uh, it does have a, a, a flap, an inner flap to keep the to keep the draft or the wind outside the zipper. The zippers are not sealed, uh, but they're pretty tight. It does have an inner pocket, and there's a there's a uh, you know a fleece lining in there, like a thin fleece lining, which is really nice does have an inside pocket on the right side, which is a little strange. I've never had a jacket with a pocket on the right side of my chest. Um, the inner seams are welded shut. They're pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. But the inner seams are pretty well sealed. Um, so it does keep the draft out of the jacket really well. Um, it's a really nice quality fabric. Um, so no complaints so far. I really love the jacket. Uh, waistline has these um, your pretty standard uh, pull cords, and then you just lock it with this little this little doohickey here to release it. Um, price is one hundred and sixty dollars. I haven't seen them go on sale, so I don't know if they're going to go on sale. They seem to be, you know, I think this is one of their uh, flagship products. You may not see this one on sale, but if you do, I would I would move on it. And if you again, if you don't mind not having a hood, uh, this is this is a really nice jacket. Um, and I wouldn't say that the the collar is really very tight. Either. I mean, it's not it's not super tight, right? There's a little bit of draft that gets in, gets in there. But if but if you have a, a, um, a neck gaiter. Um, you'll be fine. Like I wear a neck gaiter with this jacket and it's really comfortable. I actually like that air getting in there, the combination of the neck gaiter with this looser fitting collar. I like the airflow. It's a nice combination. If I don't have the neck gaiter, it's probably going to be a little drafty. So, you know, if you have a layer over that has a hood, you're fine, right? So I don't, that's just something to keep in mind. You know, if you're a big hood wearer, uh, there's certainly situations where I want to throw a hood on pretty quick. Um, you're going to have to have a shell over this. I have worn this underneath a very thin Gore-Tex shell. It was a really good combination. And I was actually in pretty pretty harsh uh, conditions. It was negative 20. Um, I didn't think I was gonna be very warm. 
um, I had this shell, a pretty good base layer, and a, and a not even a very heavy Gore-Tex shell over this, and I was actually pretty good. It's a, it's a good piece in my in my kit. Um, you know, you can wear it for, for casual wear. It looks pretty good, so I think you can get around town with it. Uh, it's pretty capable out in the back country. So, anyways, I think uh, think that's it for this this jacket. I hope that was uh, helpful content. If you liked the video, uh, smack that like. If you want to subscribe to the channel and get more content, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and get out on those trails. Enjoy yourself.